Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the new upcoming character Shiori and hopefully help you figure out if she fits your playstyle and team composition, so ultimately if this character is worth your wishes. First, to quickly cover her skill kit, the elemental skill is a dash which also summons these little dolls who deal geo damage periodically. If there's an active geo construct nearby, it will also summon a second one. The damage they deal is based on both attack and defense. For the burst skill, it's just AoE geo damage based on attack and again defense. For the passive skill, the first one is just a movement speed increase if a character in your team is using a skin different from the default one. The second one, after pressing the elemental skill, she already has two options to trigger extra effects. Elemental skill into normal attack grants a 5 second geo infusion. Elemental skill into elemental skill again switches to your next character instantly and your dolls will perform coordinated attacks on top of the periodic damage. And the last passive is if a party member creates a geo construct, Giori will gain 20% geo damage. The first thing that comes to mind is obviously her extreme resemblance to Albedo in terms of skill kit. So if you like him, you will probably love this character. To be fair though, Albedo isn't known to be the most exciting character, so Shiori being very similar might be a little concerning. You basically just make sure the elemental skill is doing its job, that's it. But Chiari having the option to gain a Geo Infusion might give her some opportunity to play around with some other fun teams. I say fun teams cause her normal or charge attacks don't seem that good and they have no extra defense scaling. I doubt that it will lead to anything super impressive, nonetheless it's an option. Most likely Shiori will end up being a 1 to 1 alternative to Albedo and for all it's worth it seems like a straight up better version. So maybe replacement is a more fitting word here. Crit rate ascension, higher base attack and defense and her burst actually does respectable damage. Albedo's elemental skill does decent damage as well and Shiori does scale a little differently but even just looking at her skill kit I would be fairly confident in her ability to outperform Albedo here as well. Speaking of different scaling though, her stat line will be fairly unique since she actually significantly benefits from both attack and defense. So aside from the usual crit crit damage and geo damage bonus in her case, you will aim for some sort of ideal ratio between the two. So to throw something completely unsubstantiated randomly out there, maybe something like a 1 to 2 ratio in favor of defense is something I could imagine being somewhat realistic. But just focusing mainly on defense is probably not much worse, if at all, in case you are just looking for some simple guidelines. As for weapons, there are a lot of good 4 star options to choose from. First, the Albedo comparison comes into play again, who actually got dedicated 2 event weapons to himself. First, the Festering Desire is great. And then second, the Cinnabur Spindle is also very good, but it might lead to an awkward build that only focuses on defense because of this effect. And then if you miss those because they are limited event weapons, then the Fluff Sender of Ferryman, the fishing weapon from Fontaine, is a good play a replacement, and the same can be said about the craftable weapon from Fontaine. And in case you purchased the battle pass, the Wolf Fang also looks very good for Chiori. The artifacts luckily are the only thing about this character that is super straightforward, I think Golden Troop is probably the one you will end up using, and in the last slot I think crit damage is a little bit more favored towards crit rate because she has crit rate ascension set, so this will likely lead to a better balance between the two, and then obviously geo damage bonus in this slot, and attack or defense whichever one balances your stats between these two out better. As for teams, this is the perfect visual representation of the concerns I had when Navia released. After her, it seems very unlikely to see a Geo Elemental Reaction rework, which means any character that doesn't put a new interesting twist to them will have a rough time, so does Shiori. Geo doesn't synergize well with any other elements, if you plan to build a team around a certain elemental reaction, the last thing you want is a character randomly triggering a lot of crystallize to make things inconsistent. This leaves us in the good old spot to go get Geo Resonance and as many buffs as possible. We don't care about elemental reactions, that's basically it when it comes to Geo characters. The full defense scaling team with Ito, Albedo and Goro is obviously the first one that comes to mind to replace Albedo with Shiori. And this is great cross synergy. First of all, we have Geo Constructs from Ito or uh, Goro to synergize with the elemental skill of Shiori. And if you have C4 Goro, even better to synergize well with Farina. If you don't have Ito, no problem, C6 Noel will do just fine as a replacement. 
And of course, Noel has great synergy with Goro and even with Purina as a healer, but if you don't have them, you can simply replace them, pick Zhongli for the Geo Construct and something like Yelan for the damage bonus, or even something like Cloud Retainer, since Noel actually has pretty decent plunging attacks. And there's one more very obvious Geo character that I kind of forgot to put on the list at first, and it's Navia. At first I thought she has to go hand in hand with the Zhongli on the team, because her elemental skill hits so hard that you kind of want to scale it with extra damage buffs like Zhongli shields or Bennett, but honestly Zhongli doesn't do too much on this team. I feel like you have enough survivability between triggering a bunch of Crystallize and Bennett's healing, and on top of that, the Geo Resistance Shred isn't super important if you already have Geo Resonance, because you will likely hit the negative uh, resistances on enemies anyway and experience diminishing returns. If you didn't know, if you try to lower the resistances into the negatives, it only has half the effect. And on top of that, the extra damage from a character like Shiori or Albedo in a team like this might actually just be more beneficial. And my last suggestion is a little bit of a weird one arguably, but I still think it's worth a shot. This team, all of these characters can be built in a way that they all deal a lot of damage by themselves already, which is great, but there is also a little bit of cross synergy here. Of course, between Fischl and Baiju, we have Quicken for extra aggravate and spread damage. Unfortunately, I believe applying Geo will break this effect, but you will still trigger it here and there for some extra damage. And then, of course, Ningguang can wear something like an Akiak Petra set to get more Electro damage, and then this team obviously is focused around squeezing out a lot of extra damage from Pichel's passive skill. Alright, we made it to the end. I hope this was somewhat helpful to figure out if this character appeared to you. If you haven't found yourself playing Geo teams until now, I wouldn't expect Chiori to change that, at least not long term. Again, Geo reactions aren't very engaging. If you don't mind though, Chiori will do well, better than Albedo, so definitely a good addition for Geo enjoyers. To be fair though, it's hard to make a case for her if Nivellet and Kazuha are the next banners coming up. Anyway, I will get and try her out, so stay tuned for that, until then have fun and bye bye.